once I've done all of this, I can now assign this to my students. Now, there's a little bit of setup that has to happen before you assign videos. You have to either connect to your Google Classroom that you have your students in, or you can put students in manually. So I'm going to click Assign. I'm going to let it go ahead and start today, but I could change it. It's going to be assigned to my demo class. I can give it a due date if I want. This is the important switch right here, whether or not we prevent skipping. So if you want to make sure the students stop at each question and provide an answer, then you will want to turn that on. You can turn on or off closed captioning, and then I can decide whether or not to go ahead and post it on my Google Classroom. I'm going to click Assign and now it's showing that it's assigned and here are the questions and over time this will populate and show me how my students are doing. Another way to share the assignment is to click Share Assignment and get the link here if you're using like a different system, not Google Classroom, you can copy this link. Your students will still have to have been set up in Edpuzzle. Later, you can do other things like share the preview with another teacher, duplicate this if you want to tweak it for a different class or student. You can also decide whether you want it to be public or private. You can actually search for something on Edpuzzle. And you can actually see here that at least three other people have used the same video I just used. This person has 17 questions in a five minute video. And this person has eight, and this person has seven, and they've, it looks like, shortened the video to 352. So you don't always have to start from scratch. You can also click on somebody else's assignment, look it over, and then edit if you want to make tweaks or copy it if you want to add it to your own content. So that's an overview of Edpuzzle and I hope you will find it a great way to make video content more engaging, interactive for your students and help them learn better from instructional videos.